next weather alert from CBS News Miami. Hi everybody, I'm Chief Meteorologist and Hurricane Specialist Iba Cabrera. Hurricane Milton has made landfall. It did so as a Category 3 with 120 mile an hour winds, and it did that at 8:30 at Siesta Key in Florida. That is in Sarasota. There, making landfall with 120 mile an hour winds. We continue with this storm, continuing pushing off to the north and east. Some areas now under the eye wall here, and what that means is that they're getting the worst of the conditions here as far as the wind speed. So we'll take a gander here and a little closer look at some of the winds that we've been dealing with the last a few hours. We've been clocking winds anywhere from 45 to as high as 93 miles an hour. Those are gusts, not sustained winds, but there's St. Pete now coming in with 81 mile an hour winds. Tampa, 59 mile an hour winds. To reiterate, it made landfall at Siesta Key, which means that the Tampa Bay area has been spared a catastrophic storm surge because the circulation has made landfall to the south. They're going to deal with some flooding here, but it's going to be nowhere near what it would have been if this would have made landfall north of Tampa Bay with that onshore wind that at this point is still going to impact places like Venice, Punta Gorda, Fort Myers will get some storm, uh, some storm surge there, but the northern side of the storm, the winds are blowing in the other direction, so it's a reverse storm surge, which is still going to cause problems in Tampa Bay, Hillsborough Bay, Old Tampa Bay, but not the water coming in from the Gulf of Mexico that has been spared for at Tampa there. So again, our friends down in Venice, Punta Gorda and down to Fort Myers. That's where we have the worst of the storm surge. And by the way, this storm is going to continue to be a huge problem overnight because the wind feel the hurricane force winds are still forecasted to come across the I-4 corridor through Orlando. And that is going to mean for us the potential of 80, 90 mile an hour winds. And that is going to come along with the potential for 8 to 12 inches of rainfall. So we are not done. This is going to be a widespread event across central Florida, likely power outages and significant flooding. We may get even into some flash flood emergency. An extreme wind warning is now posted for the Tampa Bay area with gusts, as you saw there, surpassing 90 miles an hour. We'll keep you posted throughout the evening, but again, we have made landfall here near Siesta Key at 830, Category 3, Hurricane Milton making landfall. Let's